Waddle waddle. Oop. I don't think I locked for blackout. <laughs> Does this count Midas? True. But Midas, they can get treasures. really a waddle thing, but it is tempo. There's a black cat mim. I don't think I can turn down black cat mim. I don't know. I should probably at some point know the math on what the odds of getting a good waddle shop are, but it's a good enough tempo shop that I think I should take it. It's also like half a waddle shop. I think I want it on model. I think there are easier ways to get three treasures for three gold. And Crafty is just a solid. Crafty is an honorary model unit. He doesn't look like it, but deep down he's an animal. Or at least is loyal to the penguin. Should have done this first. Never punished, always lucky. A little late on that. Eh, that's a big two, sure. Well, we got a lot stronger. board, two crafty boosts, one one to everything. Earthquake immunity. It's a powerful immunity. Taking it, it might be wrong, but I'm taking it. Uh, this could get me a stag pretty easily. Seems better than rolling. Hopefully, we get blind mice. I don't really want to get a level four treasure. I also only have one turn to do it because of the lock chest. I'll take a pair of twos too. I'll take a level three treasure. Any worse level four than slay to pick up at three one? Oh yeah, plenty. There's Reduplicator, there's Deck of Many Things, there's Summoning Portal. Depending on your comp, Horn of Olympus. Depending on your comp, Coin of Charon. <laughs> Slay is five gold. Five gold's a lot of gold. Deck is underrated. So is five gold, apparently.
fuck. I may as well take it. Ah, uh, yes. All of the falling stars. I don't know, that gets pretty good later on when it starts casting real stuff like Pigos and Shrivels, but... Get Lady. I want Lady. I mean, I know I have the Horn, but... I'd kind of rather just try to do Waddle things. I guess Cinder's kind of bad. Eh. I can take another Sporko. I don't think I want the Lady. I think if I was going to take the Wish, I'm supposed to take the Sting, but... and take Fork, and then find an Aeon, and have Aeon Fork Ball. Hmm, pretty big board. Tempo. I skipped a dog. Oh, my bad. Did not mean to. As long as I didn't skip an Aeon. I'm not too worried about it, but I should have bought the donkey. This poor cut purse. We're not getting there. Look kind of on purpose. Uh kind of. I didn't really consider it, but I kind of need tempo rather than random animals. Spell on donkey. What can I get? I guess if it turns into a mummy, I'm happy. Pretty much everything is bad. 
Spellweaver. Spellweaver is okay if I'm actually mages, but I don't think I'm actually mages, unfortunately. Maybe does something. I don't know. We're pretty fucked. Sporko health. Uh, I guess it matters. It is only three. It makes the pumpkin worse, which is the problem. Our hat. True. Yeah, we did not waddle this game. Games like that are why Waddle isn't my best hero. His high rolls are unbeatable, like, in ways that other heroes are not. And they're fairly frequent. But sometimes he just doesn't do anything. This time just hit. Yeah, off to a good start. I do not have a collective name for the community. Yeah, you guys are just chat. Collective community names are kind of cringe. Take Polly out. No. <laughs> if it flips, it flips. I'm not that sad if it flips. And it might save me some life. especially want this to flip, but again, don't really care if it does. Nah, saving Polywog is a trap. Character good, then triple it will always be evil. Yeah. There's a... Think of the good and evil transformations as modifiers. So, like, when you play a beauty's influence, you're adding one to the good modifier. When you play an evil twin, you're adding one to the evil modifier. And then it's whichever one's bigger. And then if they're equal, then you just get the base. If your beauty's influence something... If you, like, double... Beauty's influence two evil units and then evil twin, it'll still be good. But if you Beauty's Influence and then Evil Twin... Yeah. Losing my egg. That's okay, I guess. Like 
Air of Cricket Earth. Oh. Lower Waddle's win rate somewhere. I have a puzzle rune. I don't know what you think is happening this game. <laughs> Nah, Puff Puff's not the worst thing to get. It's just not exciting. No tortoise. Though it is awkward when your Puff Puff doesn't die. For chicken. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of exciting woggles. Our opponent got a pretty exciting woggle in the Heartwood Elder. Well, because there's plenty of things I'd lock for. I'd lock for a Gruff, a Black Cat, a Donkey, or a Stag. I don't remember what the spell was, too. Grace. Yeah, I think I'm strong enough that I don't need it. Oh my god, not if we get donked. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna take the tempo. Seems silly or not. Not that one. Disco Elysium player, yeah. Let's go on the Steam sale. Disco Elysium is an incredible game that I probably should have just played off stream instead of on stream. Sporko 5, that one above the black hat. I think 11 should be good enough to slay at this point in the game. Yeah, it's a lot of reading. It's more visual novel than game. Yeah, it's got full voice acting. That's, I, I played it with the full voice acting. I wouldn't have played it if it didn't have the voice acting. That would have been too much. Can't even with visual novels? Eh. It's a lot of fives. Are there any fives I want? I'm just going to go to level 5. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh yeah! Oh, I also got a Lightning Dragon. That's adorable. choices than most visual novels? Depends on the visual novel. I just mean in terms of the core gameplay loop, where you're just making a decision and getting some story. <laughs> is it VOD? I don't know if it's on the VOD's channel. I think it is. I think someone had asked before, and I checked. I stopped updating the VOD's channel a long time ago, though. You asked? Yeah, it's a Trinet VODs on YouTube. Fork? Nope. I'll just keep the gloves of thieving and take two gold. Mm. Probably should have buffed the Tweedledee, but this is funnier. Occasion choices. Yeah, yeah. This goes definitely longer than most decision-heavy VNs. 
free healing potion. I don't care about pairing lightning dragon. Sorry, you opened Disco Elysium can. Why? I want to apologize. No tortoise. Yeah, tangents are welcome. I. If it's something that I don't want to talk about, I'll usually just ignore the chat message. No tortoise. Those are not ball. I don't really respect Bad Moon. I don't want to keep the gloves. I'm at 31. Yeah. Going to 6 next turn. Why do I have so much gold? I mean, what happened? <laughs> Did Trophy Hunter's pig slay? <laughs> Incredible. Uh, I guess I'll buy this. Uh, probably just taking that out soon. Be happy to pair Tweedles. Library card. Uh, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna buy this. Mostly because I have no time. I mean, it's plus two power on Trophy Hunter. It's just a really nice tempo unit. Like, sure, you're gonna give your opponent some gold, but whatever. It's the price you pay. He has a prism. Buff buffs back. Hello. So I think Tiger's winning the lobby. That is a direction unit, technically. Uh, it's kind of an awkward one. First, whoops. It's eh, kind of cool. This electronics game sucks. I don't know. I, I've never enjoyed an electronics game. I don't know what makes them good or bad. <laughs> I don't get the appeal at all. Fates is also really- oh right, they got an upgraded Heartwood Elder super early. Ugh. So they've just been up to whatever. It's nice. They're never going back in. I'm still enjoying Rubina. It's getting a little tedious. The fights are getting kind of long, but... The story's still pretty cool. The Avna battles especially have gotten really tedious. They're like really long and really convoluted. Like there's still been little that I'd have called super hard. So I guess I haven't reached the vertical difficulty spike, or it's just really overstated how vertical the difficulty spike is. I don't 
think TIS does a good job of explaining what you need to know. Uh, goes on an Echo Wood. It's next on the variety menu. Maybe the Outer Wilds DLC? I'm not sure. Not committed to anything yet. It's a really nice spell. Two gold to lock. I just want the Lance over the Tweedle. If I get Sword, then Robin goes on Good Boy. Nah, programming's great. It's annoying. Okay, never mind. Annoyance solved. Oh, these echoes suck. Huh. They really were getting all of their stats from the Tweedle. This one and then Robin the other one. We have to beat the Radiant Prism. I think we might be fucked. What? Nah, there's no irony. I think it's like one of the best skills you can learn. You can do like anything with it. Um. I guess a range you know might be better than the second deco. That's fair. Oh, this also buffs the good boy again. Yeah, okay. Cool. I mean, honestly, probably. Probably some kind of programming thing to help you with weightlifting. been able to apply it to basically anything that I try to do. Hey, we beat the prism. Wow, go us. Will we be able to beat the 3.1 Heartwood Elder, though? That is the true test. Probably some amount of math that could be done, but I'm not doing it. Is it actually lifting the weight though? Sure. But it's about finding things that you can use programming to optimize. Rude! And you got me. <laughs> 